closing costs when you're selling a house? What are you actually paying for to sell your house? That's what I'm gonna break down today. Stick around. Hi, I'm Annie Baker. I'm a realtor here in beautiful Silicon Valley. I specialize in selling homes. So usually they're in trust and probate or people are downsizing, retiring out of the area. I do a lot of relocation. But today I'm gonna to break down what your costs are when you're selling a house. A lot of people think commissions. Anything else? Well, there are quite a few things. Some are negotiable and some are just standard fees. So let's start at the top. In Santa Clara County, you are paying the Santa Clara County transfer tax. The county's gotta get their money. Depending on what city you're, you're in, there could be a city transfer tax. So San Jose, Palo Alto, Mountain View, uh, they all have city transfer tax. Typically, the seller and the buyer split the city transfer tax. Then there are title and escrow fees. And in our part of the world, in Northern California, title and escrow is all handled under one uh, company. Some areas they do it, you know, separate companies, some they have an attorney. Here, it's one, and they handle both of that. They provide the title insurance for sellers. The administrative aspects of the transaction, including making sure all the numbers are exactly right, um, who's getting what, uh, when you have to figure out the property taxes, they make sure that the seller pays up to the day the buyer starts paying when they buy, so they figure all that out. And when it gets dicey at the end and closing date keeps changing, they are on top of all of that. Sometimes there is a courier fee. A lot of times I have inherited properties and one sibling lives locally and one lives out of state, so we have to courier documents back and forth. We also might have to send a mobile notary for the, the out-of-state person. There's typical inspection fees. When I list homes, I, I refuse to have a seller list a home without at least the termite inspection, pest inspection, and home inspection is really important too, so usually those are mandatory. Plus, it also gives the seller a little peace of mind that they're not hiding any issues because sometimes you've lived in a house so long, you don't even know what's working or what's not, or you forget that the gate latch isn't really that tight, big deal. Well, if you don't provide that information, which will be found by the inspector, you never know what buyer could come back and hold you liable for. So have those inspections at a bare minimum. Um, you can also have a roof inspection, a chimney inspection, a pool inspection if there's a pool, a septic inspection if you have septic. So those costs vary depending on what you're providing, but at basic having a home and property or home and pest inspection, then typically a seller provides the home warranty, although this is negotiable, a home warranty for the buyer, which is for the first year of their owning the home. And then there's some marketing costs like staging the home and providing professional photography, providing a, a professional website, property website with the pictures. And if you're gonna do uh, videos or drone work or virtual tours, all those costs. Um, and those can be negotiable. Sometimes realtors pay for some of those marketing costs. Sometimes they don't. The last one is commissions, which are negotiable. The typical commission around here is five or six percent. Again, it's negotiable. I always tell my sellers never, ever, ever give out less than two and a half percent for a buyer's agent. Um, just because sometimes I've known realtors if they see two percent or one and a half percent, why do they want to show their buyer your house when they could show a house down the street and get a full two and a half or three percent commission? So don't ever negotiate at that side. That's just a little tip. So here's what's called an estimated closing statement. The title company uh, will provide this. I will always ask my escrow officer to provide something when we start talking about the possibility of selling your house to give you a better understanding of what your proceeds will look like. And then once we're in escrow, I have them update it so we know exactly what your cost will be, you know, for the most part. <laughs> okay, so it's a Campbell house. Here's the sales price. Here's what the sellers were gonna owe up until the closing date, which this case was July, 2019. Commissions, two and a half percent for both sides. Here are the escrow and title charges. Uh, here's the Santa Clara County tax transfer that the, um, the seller is paying. And there's no city transfer tax in Campbell, so there's none of that. Here's the pest inspection, it was $400 for this house. 
and they had already paid the home inspection at the time of service and a lot of times inspection companies will give discounts if you pay at the time you have it done sometimes they tack on a little bit more if you bill it to escrow but that's always an option and i forgot to mention the natural hazards disclosure this is required by sellers to provide and that's you know hundred dollars in this case these sellers paid their own staging fee uh, and i paid all the photography all the other marketing costs and the property website and all that. And this was a single family home, so there were no HOA fees of any kind. So that's something to keep in mind. There are HOA transfer tax fees. So this client knew exactly what they were getting here. So in rough numbers, I typically tell any seller, average in your head, six and a half to maybe 7% of your, what you think you're gonna sell your house for in closing costs just gives you an easy round number kind of to play with. So one of the best place to start, you know, before you're even thinking about what your actual closing costs are, is find out what your house is worth. I have a link down below that you can just, you know, on your own time, put the, your address in and you can get a report that's a really good professional report about the value of your home. It's, so please feel free to use that link below and if you have any other questions about closing costs, please don't hesitate to reach out. Give me a thumbs up if you liked anything I had to say and subscribe to my channel. That's a huge help for me. But until next time, have a great one.